here we go again. It has been a solid three days, y'all, since my last workout. I'm going stir crazy. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm still out here solo with the littles. Today is the last day, and hopefully we can get back to sweating sooner than later. Let's go. So I mentioned that I raced a couple of months ago and that went surprisingly well. The Boston Try is such a fantastic time. I had an absolute blast doing it. But right now we at the library checking out some books. Figured it's just as good a time as any to update you on what is next. And legit next up is Running Focus, running the Phoenix Marathon in February. Running actually came back before anything else and I'm so comfortable with it. I'm not really racing this one for speed or performance. It's really to support a friend of mine and current client who wants to run her first marathon, so why not? I'll go out there and pace you along the way. In doing that though, I'm also going to be getting myself ready for 26 point true, which is a couple of months after that and figure you run two marathons, you're gonna have to put in some volume, you're gonna have to get yourself familiar with that training cycle all over again and they'll put me in a real good place for my A race, which is the Patriot Half. That's right, going back for half Ironman, I am ready to get hurt again. I'm actually hoping to get this one done without injury, without any uh, catastrophic failures or anything like that, but getting my running back on point, cycling I'm always good on, and we've been in the pool so damn much, uh, working a lot on my swimming actually. And that's really kind of been the problem, right? Like just this funk of not training at all for a whole year. So in the moment, we gotta take a step back because that is not the only thing going on. I would love to be dialed in 24 seven on the training, but that's just not the reality for this dude. So I know what you're thinking. It's like, middle of November. Why are you talking about the 2024 season? What do you got going on? Well, the honest truth is, I'm going to be transparent. I got seasonal depression and I don't talk about it, but I know I'm not the only one and I just need something. I need something to help me get through these tough New England winters. And that something can be very different for lots of different people, but for me, I gotta stay moving. I've gotten into winter sports, y'all. I'm skiing, I'm ice skating, and last year was a wash, but this year we got all the stuff. We are prepared, we don't wanna be sledding. We're just gonna try to get out and do all the things just to try to keep sane during the winter. And along with that, having some goals and stuff to look forward to really just kind of keeps me motivated, gives me, gives me something to look forward to, right? So when you're going through those bitter 10 degree days with a 20 mile per hour wind and the wind chill is doing whatever else it's doing, you know, knowing that, okay, cool, I'm doing this and there is a reward at the end of it. There is some prize, there is some extra incentive to keep me engaged. I need that engagement. And if I'm being totally honest with y'all, this started legit a long time ago. I remember running my very first marathon and I thought it was just the post-race blues. And that was part of it, you know? Like you, you dedicate, you know, 16, 18 weeks towards building up to this one specific thing and then it happens and then it's over. And <sighs> what do I do with myself after that? I was lost. 
So I started signing up for the next one and the next one. And later on finding it's not just the post-marathon blues, that's part of it, but it was also the seasonal depression just kicking me in the face. So these days I start making a plan. By the end of October, early November, I start looking out to the next year and putting some things in the calendar, a couple of things, you know, in the spring, something like an A goal in the summer, you know, to kind of reap the benefits of all that winter training. And also like to throw in a little racecation, something to kind of get away and get to a warmer destination, a more, a more scenic, a more pleasant spot during the gray dark soul crushing New England winter to get me out to keep that training inspired and it always and it always doesn't work out exactly how I want to because you know we got work we got family we got all sorts of other commitments and obligations we just talked about that right but whenever I can I'm gonna make sure that I get a getaway now I also respect and appreciate that that's not possible for everyone that you can't always schedule out all those races. So what's your strategy? You let me know. I can't be the only one with these seasonal depressions, with the winter blues, whatever you want to call it. I can't be the only one that suffers from that in the Northern Hemisphere, in these cold weather states. So let me know down in the comments, what are your tactics? How do you stay engaged when the temperature turns to, you know, the, the, the single digit? What are your tactics when the temperatures turn to the single digits, when, you know, it's gray outside, there's snow that's been out there for the last five, six days, you know, you got to slush through it, you got to make your way through. How do y'all stay engaged? How do you stay motivated in your training? And how do you just generally keep your spirits up? Because it's definitely one thing to be on the grind and it's a whole other when you just don't feel like it. And boy, sometimes I really just don't feel like it. It was a rainy, gloomy day today, so I was already like, ugh, man. But I know I got a racecation to Phoenix coming up, so that'll keep me engaged, that'll keep me active, that'll add a little incentive. Uh, I'm gonna use the April Marathon to just kind of keep building towards my A race, which is the half iron in July. July? June? I think it's June, we'll put that date up there. Either way, we're gonna keep it nice and short for this one. We're still out here solo. I gotta get the next meal ready for the littles. They're over here checking out the magic school bus. So I'm gonna cuddle up with Miss Frizzle and them. And um, till next time, y'all, it's been real.